In the Catalonian capital, Barcelona, the city's football fanatics are out in force. Tonight is an important game for their beloved team. We have the best players in our country, and it's for us the best club, and it's demonstrated. For the Catalonians, Barcelona football club, known as Barça, is much more than a sports team. It's a rallying point for the region's unique identity. Es un motivo de orgullo y satisfacción. Cuando hubo la guerra civil en España, el club ya era un un símbolo de la liberación del fin de la guerra, de donde la gente podía chillar en el campo, hablar en catalán, cantar, y esto se ha mantenido durante todos estos años. At their home ground for the second last league match of 2012, passions are high. These days, at every match Barca plays, it's as much about the politics as it is about the sport. And tonight, they play a team from the Spanish capital, Madrid. In a nod to their Catalonian ancestors, conquered by the Spanish in 1714, as the clock strikes 17 minutes and 14 seconds, hardcore fans lead the cry. As the call for Catalonian independence grows louder across the region, how the Barcelona Football Club is seen to react is crucial. De hecho, de hecho, el, el, el Barça ha ido siempre eh, al lado, no por delante, pero tampoco por detrás, sino al lado de las aspiraciones de la sociedad catalana. The club's historian, Carles Santacana, tells me that ever since Barca players started kicking their first goals over a century ago, they've been involved in a political struggle. In the 20s, in that moment, when in Catalonia there was a reivindication for a statute of autonomy that didn't prosper, the Barca had participated in that reivindication. Then, in the 30s, they also reivindicated the Catalanity, giving an official language of the Catalan language as a language of the club. But when the Spanish Civil War broke out, the club's Catalonian identity was targeted. And in 1936, its president was executed by General Franco's troops. For 36 years under fascist rule, Catalonian nationalism was repressed and the Catalan language was outlawed. But the Barcelona Football Club held strong. O, por ejemplo, en el año 72, con Franco aún vivo, aquí en el estadio, la, la locución empezó a hablar en catalán y eso el presidente lo llevaron al despacho del gobernador y lo querían encarcelar, etc. Es decir, una serie de actitudes en las que se demostraba pues, que el Barça no estaba digamos, con el statu quo del, de la dictadura, sino que intentaba estar con una sociedad que tenía mucha dificultad para poder expresarse. Today, the club continues its role as a social institution, blurring the lines between politics and football. The further Spain plunges into financial crisis, the deeper the austerity cuts and the louder the cries for independence. Catalonia is Spain's richest region and its people are taxed at some of the highest rates in Europe. They are taking our money, so that's why the people in Catalonia are claiming for independence. Right, so it's, a, it's an economic problem that's it's coming up. It's an economic up. problem. Estoy a favor de la independencia, sí. ¿Por qué? Pues por temas de historia, también de cómo la relación España-Cataluña desde desde prácticamente siempre, que ha sido una relación desigual. At last count, 
190 Catalonian towns have already symbolically cut ties with Spain. An hour's drive from Barcelona, you can't miss the giant independence flag as you drive into Vidreres. It's been flying proudly since August, just before the municipality symbolically but illegally declared Vidreres independent of Spain. Que es la que veis aquí con, con, el, con el triángulo azul y la estrella blanca, que es la, la bandera que, que representa la libertad de Cataluña, la, la voluntad de Cataluña de ser independiente. Local politician Bosco Anton tells me that the flags are here to stay. Se ha convenido también, en, de manera reivindicativa, dejar las, las esteladas en, en los balcones uh -huh. a, a ver, hasta, la idea es hasta el día que, que obtengamos la independencia, que esperamos que sea pronto. <laughs> sí, lo que puede, se puede ver es que hay muchas familias de, que, que viven aquí vidrieras que, que están por la, tienen por la idea de la independencia de Cataluña y lo, lo manifiestan. Por... Hola, buen día. Bosco takes me to his office at the town hall. His colleague Antonio is a Spaniard and the only elected representative here not to vote for symbolic self-rule. His belief that Catalonia will never break away makes for good office banter. No, 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 no saldría. No saldría Cataluña, no saldría. No, no, no hay posibilidades. Yo creo que no. Los catalanes no son malos, el pero es Bosco. Ese es un bromista. Bosco invites me home to meet his family. He and his Dutch wife speak Spanish together, but use Catalan with their three children. Margot has been living here for 25 years and feels very much at home. She views Catalonia's difficult relationship with Spain in family terms. Es es como un hijo, una un adolescente que no le dejas hablar o no le dejas hacer y coge y se va. Si no se enfada, coge y se va y te abandona. No te pide permiso tampoco para dejarte. Sí, lo que, hay, hay, sigue habiendo una idea de asimilación. No es la, la... La personalidad propia es una anomalía para ellos. Entonces llegan a, a no comprendernos y al no, al no haber una comprensión tampoco nos sentimos queridos. The children in this family are already well versed on the independence issue. But for 11-year-old Marsal, it's all about the football. Pero España tampoco quiere que Cataluña sea un país porque el, ahora es el Fútbol Club Barcelona, es como si fuera de España. Y perderían un buen equipo, ¿sabes? Si fuera independiente. There's another issue which may have direct and far-reaching consequences for children like Marsal. De la primera pregunta. Since Franco's death in 1975, Catalan language has been given priority in the region's schools. But now the national government proposes to make Spanish the main teaching language. Many Catalonians are outraged and they're accusing the Spanish government of a return to the repressive ways of the Franco dictatorship. I am a Catalan and I speak Catalan and I want my daughter and other child to speak Catalan too in school. Catalonian Regional Education Minister Irene Rigal stormed out of a recent meeting with her national counterpart in Madrid over the dispute. Jo vaig demanar la retirada d'aquest text, el ministre va dir que no, llavors jo lògicament en nom del meu govern i de la institució que represento li vaig dir que per nosaltres la llengua no era negociable. Per tant, si no era negociable no podia estar en una taula de negociació. Even though I ask the questions in Spanish, Rigao makes a political point and answers in Catalan. Nosaltres basem la nostra convivència, la nostra cohesió en el fet de compartir una llengua comuna i després dominar les altres llengües oficials i familiars. Voler trencar aquesta convivència, aquesta cohesió, escolaritzant diferent els que tinguin la llengua familiar en catalana o castellana, entendem que és un atemptat a la nostra pròpia manera d'entendre la convivència i la nostra manera d'entendre la cultura. Són les 12 en punt. 
then the breakthrough that many have been waiting for. Convergència i Unió i Esquerra Republicana formalitzaran d'aquí a una hora al Parlament l'acord de governabilitat que inclou la consulta sobiranista el 2014. El líder d'Unió... The two main political parties coming to an agreement to hold a referendum on independence next year. I race to the Catalonian Parliament to witness history in the making. Uh, for the first time in 300 years, this country is going to ask the question whether uh, we want to be Spanish or not. And uh, we are very excited about this possibility. Uh, it's huge for us. Madrid says it's unconstitutional. Yeah, actually, it's uh, unconstitutional for sure. Uh, and this is why we will have uh, two years very, very interesting on a political way, I mean, and uh, on a journalistic way, I mean because um, things can change, laws can change, but uh, Spain is very clear that this is absolutely illegal. As the documents are signed, it's clear they'll be entering a difficult period. <laughs> this parliament is a coalition of odd bedfellows. The parliamentary president has the difficult task of bridging the gap between his centrist party and the Republican left. On the air. On the air. Busy day, huh? Complicating matters further, even the far left indignance movement have a voice in this parliament. All new for you, isn't it? Yeah. Todo nuevo para ti. Todo nuevo. Eh? Entonces, calle, que, que... Aquí. Uh -huh. Bueno, muy tranquilos, eh? ¿Sí? La, la fuerza de la gente. Bueno, <laughs> the indignance inspired the street sit-ins that became the Occupy movement, which swept the world by storm two years ago. It's the first time the movement has won a seat in any parliament. ¿Y que nervioso un poco o qué? No, tranquilo. Detrás están 120 mil personas. Muy bien, gracias. With a referendum on the horizon, what happens next in this parliament will have profound implications for Barcelona Football Club. Anything the players do or say is being watched with great interest. Team captain Carles Puyol recently created a stir by using Twitter to criticize the proposed clampdown on Catalan language in schools. There are a lot of people that is trying to involve the players. You know. With such big money at stake and questions about sponsorship and contracts, former club president Joan Laporta knows better than anyone how complicated this issue could become. The, the Catalan players, and they uh, love uh, their country and they love our, our culture, the Catalan culture, and they, they share uh, a lot of uh, feelings for, for our, uh, to promote and defend our, our, our culture and our language. Do you think the players are pro-independence? The, the Barcelona players? I know that most of them are in pro-independent, but they, they cannot say it. They are professionals and they also have to, to play. And the national team now, the only national team, and it's compulsory for them, is the Spanish national team. So they have to go with the Spain. There were seven Barcelona players in the Spanish squad that won the last World Cup in South Africa. It was a Barcelona player who scored in the final minutes of extra time off a pass from another Barcelona player. Iniesta scores! Surely the winning goal for Spain! For many Catalonians, Spain could never be described as their national team. While the rest of the country's celebrations raged through the night, Barca fan Oscar says that in Barcelona it was muted. Were you not happy when the Spanish side won the World Cup? No, for sure. No? No. 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 Why not? No, no. In Barcelona, was uh, just a few people that celebrated. And if Catalonia does become independent, Barça could be looking way past the country's new borders to find teams it can play. So maybe we can play in English, English league English for one league? year, or we can play in Italian for a year. France. We are sure that that Barcelona will be. Uh, a, a club that anyone wants in his league. But you can't just pick and choose the league you want to play in, can you? The most important thing for us is to play with an, our national team.